task this morning was to inspire us, to understand the audience's beliefs, encourage and motivate us to change. So therefore, connection is the key to a speech like that. And I, I really felt this was a breakout speech for you. I felt more of your presence in this speech than at any other time. You were animated. I could, I could almost smell and see the sights of Cuba as you described them. There was, your personality was very strong this morning. You opened by saying Cuba is poor, and I, I could really feel that. And a doctor makes $30 a month. Can you imagine what the AMA would say to that? <laughs> so I was looking for, what are you going to ask me to do this morning, to, to think about? And the idea that I got after listening to you was that perhaps preconceived notions of other cultures just don't work. And you have to modify your behavior and beliefs when you get to a place that you might have thought something different about. I loved your words. You used the metaphor, a hungry animal looking for food. This was so clear, your behavior. And then you talked about deals. And in China, you learn to haggle. Any of us that have ever been to China knew immediately what that was about. You talked about the artisan's market. And then the best part of the speech was the description of these two ragged seashell salespeople coming up to you and your interactions with them. The conclusion was really wonderful. True and lasting happiness cannot be purchased but it didn't seem to be included in the whole speech. It, it came beautifully at the end, but only at the end was that thought really clear. What I'd like you to think about is to keep the purpose involved with the whole speech. Make that very succinct uh, portion of your <laughs> speech. Again, even though this was a breakout speech for you, there are occasions where there's a, a bit of hesitancy. Maybe that's because of a transition, but you're, you're, eventually you will, it will be a whole movement, the speech will be, and props. There's a little bit of disconnect when you have to bend down and, and get something out of a bag. I would suggest having the sergeant at arms set up a little table and maybe cover the props so that they're very easily picked up as you maintain the connection with the audience. Because you lose that if you have to bend down and kind of fumble around in, in a bag. But the, the last question, did the speech satisfy the, ex the expectations of the audience? Absolutely. Did it uplift the spirit? I have to say that I felt uplifted. I, I felt your concern for the people of Cuba. I felt that you enjoyed your interactions with them, and there was a message for us to watch ourselves when we go to these places and change our preconceived notions. I love the speech. Thank you very much. I remember when I was in China in, in the market in one of the stands, one of the guys there said, psst, psst, psst. I go there, and from, he brings out rep.